Welcome back everybody. All this week we are celebrating small setups with really some big flavors with a series on food carts. Yes, it's food cart week here on PTL. And yesterday, John, owner of the Shady Dog Hot Dog Cart, set up in his driveway so Mikey could get a test taste. Well, today the main attraction came to us. Just outside the studio, Mikey Hood found Latte Lane. Now, technically, this is a trailer, not a food cart, but Mikey told us they have some great coffee. Hey, Mikey. Yeah, I know, I know. This is not quite a, co a coffee cart. It's more of a trailer, but that's okay because we just wanted coffee this morning. So we invited Heather Schreckengoss. She is the owner of Latte Lane, and this is really cool. How Thank did you, you get started? So I got started uh, working in the coffee industry when I was in college and realized I just was really good at it. So one day I saw a vintage bar and I thought, oh, that would be really cool if it were coffee instead. So um, in 2020, I had a lot of downtime and just it kind of came to be during COVID. And so how does this work? Do you just travel all around Pittsburgh or what areas are you in? Yeah, so we used to travel our first year. We traveled all around Pittsburgh, um, but we landed ourselves in Richland Township um, in the Gibsonia area. Yeah. So we have a drive through set up there, which is awesome. If any food trucks or mobile vendors know that it's very weather dependent. So the drive through allows us to keep going, whether it's raining, whether it's snowing. So um, the best thing to do is to find us online um, to see where we'll be if we're moving. Okay, well, since you are right here, right now yep. in the traffic circle, what I understand is that you guys have over 50 different flavors and Alita, your barista, she's yep. in there right now <laughs> making some of them, maybe for us to try? Absolutely, for sure. Okay. We've become known for a lot of our really unique specialty drinks because mm -hmm. we have so many flavors, so we definitely have some for you to try. Alita, <laughs> <laughs> can I try one, please? Yeah, so this is our lucky charm. Ooh. Yes. So this latte is the first specialty latte that we really became famous for. It's our lucky charms latte. I was walking down the grocery store and I saw those marshmallows and I was like, that would be great on a latte. So, so it's very marshmallow, Lucky Charm cereal inspired. Mm. Ah, that's delicious. Okay, <laughs> what do we have next? All right. I'm going to be high on energy after this. <laughs> this one is our cookies and cream cold brew. Oh, cookies and cream cold yes. brew. So the beans that we use for our cold brew, it has lots of notes of chocolate. So this cookies and cream cold brew pairs really well with what we use. Mm. It's delicious. And you guys are, I mean, really popular. People are like finding you and seeking you out. It's right? unbelievable. We are so grateful for all the support we've gotten. Really, it, it means so much to us. We're, we're really lucky. Mm, it's delicious. And, and the cool thing about this is that, I, I mean, coffee is just not coffee. It really can change someone's day. And that's kind of your motto. It's absolutely part of people's routine in the morning. And yeah. with all the negativity and everything, people just want a great start to their day. So it's not just the coffee, but we definitely bring the good vibes. And we really like having that personal interaction with people. Yeah. It's it's not a transactional encounter. We We like to get to know people. We know your name. We know what you do for a living. We know your kids. We know your dog. So it really is awesome oh, for fun. us. Okay, one more before I go. <laughs> Alana, do you have one more? We've got our Snickerdoodle latte. Snickerdoodle. <laughs> Ooh, tell me about this one. So Snickerdoodle is my favorite cookie of all time. So I Thank knew you. I just okay. had to turn it into a latte. Mm. <laughs> I have so much energy right now. I'm going to send it back into the studio to you, David. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Mikey, she's Woo! very caffeinated now. And you know what? Those sound wonderful. They're like desserts. And I have one too. So this is a graham cracker matcha in honor of National Graham Cracker Day. So I'm going to try it right now. Oh, yeah, I definitely taste the graham cracker. Oh, that's good. All right. Well, thank you, Mikey. Thanks for bringing them in. And don't forget, you can find Latte Lane, Lane primarily along Route 8. So make sure to stop by to try to find some of the awesome summer specials while you can. Lots to try out there. Well, still to come here on PTL, Dr. Lori recently had a major find on her live show, a five-figure Tiffany lamp. So could this submission sent in by a viewer be worth a fortune too? See if luck is in the air when we play What's It Worth, and that's coming up next.